have a look on some important groups of the fungi. There are certain phyla, we talk about just some important ones which are commonly known. There is one phylum called Zygomycota. Zygomycota are uh, some of the important um, phyla of the fungi and they actually destroy our breads. They are called the bread molds. Rhizopus, for example, the black bread mold, that is which makes our bread a rusty appearance um, when we put it in a, a humid place uh, at room temperature for longer period. Then there is a group called Ascomycota, Ascomycetes sometimes, the family. They are the sac-like fungi. Their uh, fruiting bodies uh, or their spore producing structures, they are like sacs. Um, and also the Ascomycetes group, the Ascomycota phylum also include the yeasts. And we know that yeasts are very important organisms. Uh, we produce many of the baking products using the yeast. Yeast also have certain important characteristics and we talk about it uh, in some time. Then comes the uh, phylum Basidiomycota. These are called the club fungi. A very important group of fungi is included in this group called the mushrooms. We know that uh, some mushrooms are edible, that is we can eat them. Uh, they, are, uh, they are a good source of protein, uh, proteins because they cons their body consists of proteins. Um, but we know that there are a lot many fungi, uh, the mushrooms, which are highly poisonous. If someone eat them, they may instantly die. So it is really very difficult to find out that uh, a particular type of type of mushroom is it is it uh, poisonous or non poisonous. And of course, the experts can identify them. And fungi are cultured for uh, food, the edible fungi, and they are very costly. Uh, part of the food sometimes used in um, salads and sometimes we make various foods out of them many various there are various various dishes of mushrooms we know that um, there are other fungi called puffballs bracket fungi the rust and smarts which are included in the club fungi that is the basidio uh, mycota phylum uh, rust we know that many times uh, are different materials we call them they become rusty that is, there is some brownish, dark colored mass appears upon them. These are the fungi which grow upon different things uh, when the environment is humid um, and it's moist. Then comes another group, um, the phylum Deutromycota. These are called sometimes also the fungi imperfecti. Uh, these uh, are the fungi which have some different, some characteristics which are different from the other fungi. So that we call them fungi imperfecti. Penicillium is one of the most important fungus in this group and we know that penicillium are the fungi from which scientists derived penicillin and uh, penicillin was the was the drug uh, which actually saved uh, more than thousands of life we must say hundreds of thousands of lives during the world war II when it was discovered. Before that, people die out of wound infections and penicillin was uh, the most important ones to treat those infections. So fungi are also source of very important medicines. Here you can see in a, a diagram a fungus, a bread mold in um, bread, in and on a bread. We can see the surface of the bread. Uh, in the diagram, we can see that some part of the fungus, uh, the hyphae, these are present inside the bread and the some part of uh, this same fungus is present outside of the bread. They are inside of the bread, hyphae are spread in the bread. At that place, this collection of hyphae inside will be called a mycelium. And the part which is present outside are actually their spore producing structure, uh, structures. We also call them fruiting bodies. So the hyphae, they are inside and the spore producing structures, the fruiting bodies are present outside and we can see them uh, in the form of a green or, or a brown, rusty colored, uh, say scum present on the surface of the bread. Look at another diagram. It shows you uh, the production of, uh, the sec actually the process of sexual reproduction in um, hyphae. When the hyphae of two different metic mating types, they grow side by side. For example, on a bread, as you have seen in the previous diagram, 
when they come across the tips of these branches develop into gametangia that is um a gamete like structures and then the gametangia they fuse um and they make the gametes these gamete fuse and produce a zygote zygote is also called sometimes zygospore uh, it have two n number of chromosomes and um it this this is the structure which as we can see and we can observe in the diagram which is more harder and it can face more harsh environments um during the harsh environments it can survive and when the favorable conditions come then this structure the zygospore carry out meiosis and produces um n uh, number of chromosomes in uh, that is it divides by meiosis into the cells which have n number of chromosomes and uh, then they produce the mycelia which are um haploid again fungi they grow almost everywhere they are uh, present in um, most of the humid and dry places all over the world this is a diverse group number of described species in somewhere between 69000 to 100000 there is an estimate of about 1.5 million species uh, in total of all the fungi present on the planet earth they are present in soil they are present in water they are present on foods they are present in in or on animal and plant bodies there are some special groups of uh, fungi and we talk about them lichens lichens are very important groups of fungi actually lichen is a term used for an a symbiotic relationship between an algae and a fungi that is an alga algal group and a fungal uh, group um the algae uh, because they are producers they provide food to the uh, fungi and fungi give them protection and they also decomposes various materials which could be used by the algae usually these lichens are very very uh, stable structures and they can um, tolerate harsh environments usually whenever after destruction of an old system uh, ecosystem a new ecosystem is coming into being then uh, the lichens are usually the very first inhabitants of those ecosystems we can say they are important reducers uh, and the decomposers of ecosystems they are heterotrophs and mainly they decomposes the dead organic matters um they convert these dead organic matters into usable forms for the plants they are one of the most important decomposers um groups on the uh, planet earth as we know that the other decomposers are some animals like earthworms and uh, most of the decomposers they are bacteria um but fungi are equally important because they are very widely distributed and they mainly feed upon the dead organic matter the decaying organic matter so they are the most important part of the food chain because they have to convert the dead organic matter into those forms which are usable by the producers the plants so they make the um usable materials available for the plants um they convert um sometimes some other materials into less toxic forms as well as we know that uh, fungi they are a food source mushrooms most of the people uh, like the salads with the mushrooms um there are also various types some are very very poisonous some are edible and those which are edible are grown for uh, making salads and other types of foods they are very important protein source in particularly those areas where the animal uh, meat or we can say the animal source of protein is scarce or less these are very important form of proteins but they are themselves costly because it is difficult to grow um these uh, fungi and this is also difficult to actually uh, identify them from the poisonous species cause a spoilage of our foods for example the bread molds they cause spoilage of vegetables they cause spoilage of fruits so they are beneficial and they are harmful certain fungi are also source of medicines for example penicillium is a source of medicine we produce penicillin from the penicillium which is a fungus there are many fungi which produces or we can extract different types of um, medicines out of them there is um, a group of fungi called truffles 
these are very commonly used in uh, medicines and they grow inside the soils and uh, this is interesting to uh, just know that uh, these produce some specific smell and these smells could be sensed by the dogs and pigs so dogs and pigs are when when these uh, fungi are grown in the soil for medicine for medicinal purposes uh, the farmers have to use uh, the dogs and uh, the pigs which actually sense that in which part of the soil uh, actually inside the soil the truffles are growing there are pathogenic fungi pathogenic fungi means any organism is called pathogenic when it can cause a disease there are a lot many pathogenic fungi which are pathogens for plants which are pathogens for human beings which are pathogens for animals 